Hey guys, Travis here, Dutter's Dirt Bikes. So, subscribe and stay tuned on my next front tire review, the Bridgestone X31. So for starters, we'll start with some uh, visual comparisons. So if you've seen my last videos, uh, the last tire I did a review on was the Golden Tire 8100. Uh, very good tire. Um, it's a little on the skinny side, the carcass goes, um, to where I feel like it kind of digs down, but it's a very agile, very precise steering tire. You know, definitely a good tire. Um, tubeless system, man, fucking <clears throat> still not liking it. it. It's a finicky system, so I'm still working with that. But Slavings Racing um, kind of um, had me get my attention on this tire because the things I didn't care for on the, this is my buddy's bike I'm working on, of uh, the iconic M59 was the things I didn't really like about it were kind of the same things uh, Slavings didn't like about it either, but he still ultimately loved this tire, was uh, braking force, a little weak, uh, tire carcass, a little weak, uh, but other than that, a good turning tire. And uh, it was kind of weird. My experience was exactly the same. And he said that this tire kind of helped fix those issues. So that's what got my attention. I'm gonna try it out, give it my review, and um, let you guys know what I think about it. So for visual comparison, the treads are virtually the same. They are the same, but the differences are, you can see these side nubs have the block in a block technology. So that kind of helps more with your hard pack. And whether this is extra rubber or if that's sunk down, don't really know, but I could tell. The carcass felt a little stronger, you know, just by the squeeze test. And the lugs didn't seem to want to flex as easily as the M59 was. Obviously, these aren't going to flex very well right now because the nubbies are short. So, definitely, visually, they look quite the same. So, stay tuned, guys. I'm going to put this through the passes and try it out. Let you guys know.